As we come to the book of Ezekiel, God describes in, in terms of the restoration of the city of Jerusalem, in terms of, of the restoration of the worship service, the salvation of humanity. In chapter 47, verse 1, it says, Then he brought me back to the door of the temple, and behold, water was issuing from below the threshold of the temple toward the east. And their water was flowing down from below the south end of the threshold, south of the altar. And he took him out of the temple towards the north gate, and he sees the water flowing eastward. And he measured the water at a thousand cubits. He led him through the water there a thousand cubits out. It was ankle deep. Again, he measured another thousand cubits and led him into the water, and it was knee deep. And the water gets deeper and deeper and deeper as he goes further and further out. And he said to Ezekiel, son of man, have you seen this? And he led him back along the bank. And he said, as I went back up, I saw the bank of the river, many trees on one side and on the other. And he said to me, the water flows toward the eastern region and goes down into the Arabah. And when it enters the stagnant waters of the sea, notice this, the water will become fresh. And wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live. And there will be many fish. And for this, for this water goes there, that the waters of the sea may become fresh. So everything will live wherever the river goes. See, that's the way it is with the gospel of God's grace. Wherever his grace flows, wherever the river of his grace flows, it gets deeper and deeper as it's shared with more and more people. And wherever the love of God and the gospel of his grace goes, life comes to those who receive it. Life comes to all those whom it touches. This is the picture that God paints at the end of Ezekiel. A book that describes the desolations of the nations ends with God restoring those nations and the lands that they live in with the power of his love, with the power of his grace. So today, God invites you to be part of that river, to walk in the river and drink of it yourself and receive the life freely that he offers. But not only that, to be the means of sharing that with those around you, because God longs to restore everyone. And he wants to invite you and me to be a part of sharing that amazing news with those around us.